All right, well, welcome back to uh, AFAF Tech. I'm Aaron. So as you've seen in my last few videos, uh, I went to LTX 2019, met the whole, uh, almost the whole Linus crew, and uh, had a lot of fun. That was really, really cool. Can't wait to go next year. Uh, maybe I'll do some sort of recap video in the future. But anyways, uh, this video is going to be a folding at home video because I like making those. And mainly because at the end of day two, miraculously, I won an RTX 2080. And uh, an LMG CPU. Right Boom. There. He did it! Oh. For you, sir. Congratulations. Something that uh, I would not be able to afford otherwise for quite a while. After I bought my uh, 1080, you know, I, I hadn't uh, planned on upgrading for a long time. That was kind of a uh, split decision. Got the screen, the card, used my taxes, practically all of my taxes. But uh, I've been very satisfied with my 1080 over the last few years. Best graphics card I've ever purchased. Um, every game, 1440p, ultra, you know, combined with the, uh, the i7 3770K. Uh, which I had to put back in the system because the 2080 was definitely, a, you know, bottlenecking my uh, the i5 3570K. Now my sister has the 1080 with the i5, and uh, very satisfied with that. Uh, now she can play whatever she wants at 4K and all that kind of stuff uh, because her playing Skyrim and, and the games she plays in 1440p and 4K, you know, depending on the games. But other than that, I've been running the 2080 of Folding at Home. Now previously, the 1080, you know, it would cap out at about 850,000 points per day, which really helped all of my scores, got the team into the low 300s, um, super satisfied with that. Crossed 500 million points, and uh, you know, it took a while, but, you know, close to a million points a day and, and help with uh, the other guy that, that's um, on my team. We got there, and it was, it was really satisfying. But now, having uh, this new card, I'm going to show you the points per day I'm getting now. Currently, right now, now it's sitting at 1.2 million. It will go up to 1.5 million points per day which is just amazing. I remember back when uh, the Titan cards and uh, 10 ATI, you know, when those were breaking a million points per day, people were, you know, excited. I was excited. I, I thought that was amazing. So when you go from 1080, 1080 Ti, and then the uh, Pascal Titan, um, and then, well, you have the XP and the, you know, the big P and all that kind of stuff. Uh, those ones can do it. This card, it just does it easily that's amazing i think right now because i'm running obs it's uh probably sucking down some cpu time when the cpu isn't uh being utilized you know the um nvidia still requires one core for every uh gpu when folding they haven't fixed it like uh, amd did years ago with the OpenCL. but that's you know that's that's whatever still getting up to 1.5 million points per day, per day. So that's uh, increased everything in the, in the folding realm. So I'm very satisfied with that and very satisfied with the actual RTX, uh, the ray tracing. When you don't have the card and you see the price of the card and you know, it's kind of one of those things like, well, I can game perfectly fine without it. But then once you see it, real time in your face on the screen then you realize that yes this this is the thing this is the new the new thing i really wish that fooling home you know uh, stanford and even seti and any of the other um, uh, uh, distributed computing programs you know that, whether it's einstein or rosetta stone or any of those uh, milky way at home I really hope that they can 
somehow utilize the uh, the tensor cores with the amount of a extra power that's there, you know, computational power. Um, if it can do real-time lighting, then it should be able to crunch some numbers pretty hardcore. And like for instance, right now. The, the difference between the 1080 and uh, the 2080, for one, is uh, power draw. So the 1080 would only ever max out at about uh, 180 watts. I think under certain loads it could hit 200. Right now, I'm at 200 with the uh, with the 2080. It's currently sitting at 92%. It's uh, 73 degrees C, which is perfectly fine. I've seen it hit 180 degrees. Um, not not see but it, it can get up there if if you don't uh, manually control the fans which I have to use the uh, EVGA Precision X uh, X1 because the Gigabyte uh, the Aorus Extreme Gaming or whatever it's called I can't remember I already uninstalled it that can't handle it it, it, it would do anything so now we get to add the cool box to the uh, to the stack of boxes. So right now, it's gonna go. It's gonna go right there under the uh, the green light. And also brings me up to another point that um, now that my sister is using the 1080, now I have this 970 gigabyte uh, G1 gaming. So you know, it's got this cool backplate and all that. And, but the performance for folding, which I've showed before. Um, two of these can't even beat one 1080 and they create a lot of heat which that's another thing I did run the 1080 and the 2080 at the same time and achieved uh, somewhere somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.2 million a day but the temperatures were absolutely just abominable um, yeah couldn't keep the room cool couldn't keep the system cool hard drives are heating up um, yeah, that I even added an extra fan inside underneath here, just blowing air in the basement. Um, yeah, it's still. I'm worried about that drive when <laughs> it hits 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, but anyways, one other thing is uh, when you're actually using the ray tracing, for instance, in um, uh, Exodus or uh, Metro Exodus, the card will hit just about at 250 watts so when one of those tensor cores when those tensor cores kick in yeah it, it draws a lot more power so yeah i'm very very uh very happy that i won this card randomly from linus himself the signed shirt you can barely see it on here but uh, signed by linus signed by luke right on there from the video uh, i imagine you could tell how appreciative I was of uh, winning that and having that experience. Um, I don't normally act like that, you know, that, that doesn't normally happen. But in that situation, after all of that um, effort to get there, the 950 miles and crossing the border and getting passport cards and, you know, hoping to not have a car break down or anything, you know, hit a deer, you know, which I kind of did, but, you know, that's that's part of those videos. That's that's not a folding at home uh, video, which I did talk to a woman actually at uh, Walgreens um, on the way home. She complimented me on my epic hair and uh, was asking me if I was ever going to donate it, which one of these days maybe I will. Um, maybe if I get like let's say a hundred thousand subscribers. If I get a hundred thousand subscribers, maybe. I'll donate my hair. If not, it'll be a million. If I can get a million subscribers, well, scratch that. A million subscribers, I'll donate my hair. But anyways, I, I explained to her um, what I was doing in Canada. I was going to a tech convention, I like computer parts, you know, GPUs and stuff. And I explained to her uh, what I do, other than gaming. And then I told her about pulling home, and she was really interested in it because um, she actually knew 
you know, a little bit about her computer, and so I explained to her what to do. Just download the program, put it on the computer, let it run. And uh, hopefully she's uh, hopefully she's doing that. That'd be cool. You know, spreading the word. It's exactly what I'm trying to do. So I think that's uh, that's what this video is. Been trying to get it made all week. Had to work yesterday and Saturday. You know, overtime every day. It's been difficult. I'm still sick from LTX. The, uh, the con cred. Uh, Barnclay's got it. A couple other people got it. And uh, yeah, it kind of sucked. So I'm over that now. Got a little residual, but uh, it's going away. And I uh, hope to get it next year. So like and subscribe and uh, you know, ring the bell and uh, leave comments. Talk about Fully at Home. We need to spread the word. Everybody needs to know about Fully at Home. And it's, uh, it, it's pretty big, but it could be bigger. You know? I hope to maybe one day you know, do a panel at LTX about distributed computing, Fully at Home, and let everybody know what, what they can do with their computer say when they're not home you know everyone's got you know if you're, if you're gaming you got a GPU if you got a GPU you can fold up to a limit 900 series and up <laughs> probably <laughs> run uh, like I did run two R9 290s that were uh, just the stock blower fan yeah don't run those <laughs> hopefully nobody is running those <laughs> anyways uh, I'm gonna Get to the next video, so see you later.